next thing we need to cover is adding and subtracting polynomials. You have already been doing this. Basically, what we want to do is we want to combine like terms. Like terms have same variables to the same power. Okay. I have two trinomials that I want to add together. Um, I'm going to show you two different ways to do the addition problem, two different ways to do the subtraction problem. I've got one example. I'm not going to overdo this because you guys have already been doing this by combining like terms. The first way I do it, it's called the horizontal method. And what all I'm going to do is I'm going to look for like terms. First thing I want to do is I want to get rid of all of the parentheses that I have in my And if there is a positive sign in front of a parentheses or nothing in front of a set of parentheses, you can just get rid of the parentheses. That's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to get rid of the parentheses. And because a positive one in front of both of these, they just disappear and I copy everything the way. Now what I'm going to look for are my like terms, same variables. My variables are x's, but they're the same powers. So, and I typically we want to typically write them highest degree the next. So the first thing I have is I have some x cubes. I have two x plus one x gives me three cubes. I have x squared. I have 2x squared minus 5x squared is negative 3. And I have things with just x's. Circle around it so I can have one of those. Then I have a triangle here. So that would be the answer to that addition problem. The other way you can do it is do it vertically. When you do it vertically, you leave spaces for any missing powers, clean up powers. I'm going to do this vertically. 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus x. I'm going to be adding 2x squared, 1x cubed. A minus one. Notice I left a blank here, a blank here, so that the like terms are right on top of each other. I'm just going to add stuff vertically. X, negative five plus two would be negative thirds. Plus one is x cubes. These better both equal to each other. I do not care which method they use. Second example is a subtraction. Okay. We do the first step horizontally the exact same way. We get rid of the parentheses. The thing is, is this negative applies to everything inside that second. So that means you're going to have to change the sign of everything on the for the horizontal method, I'm going to copy the left hand or x squared minus 3. I'm going to change the sign of everything on the right hand side minus 3. Negative of a negative is a positive x. A negative would be a combine like terms 4 minus 3 squared. Negative 3x. Plus x is 5, 8 is 13. Now, to do this one vertically, I'm going to write the first one 4x squared, 3x plus 5, minus with parentheses 3x squared 
minus x. Now, I can do it, I'm going to do the subtraction two different ways. You want to do it vertically. Um, I'm going to show you two different ways vertically, like you choose your way. One is this way where you put parentheses. Remembering that negative applies to every term. 4x, I'm going to go here. I know I'm going to have x squared. I'm going to have some x's. I'm going to have things without x. I'm just going to do the math with the number. 4 minus 3. Negative 3 minus a minus 1. Negative 3 plus 1 which is negative 2. 5 minus a minus 8 is 5 plus 8, which is the answer. The way I would recommend doing it is copy the first term. 4x squared minus 3x plus 5. And then instead of writing the negative with the parentheses, do, do the distribution when you write the second one down. I'm going to write the negative 3x squared plus the x plus the 8. I'm going to do the exact same math I just did before, but I see the positive 8. I see the positive x instead of, oh, I got to remember to distribute. Um, I usually do it. Horizontally, and if I do it vertically, I would be using the. Um, that's all there is to finding the sum or difference of polynomials. Biggest thing is don't combine x squareds with x's. Don't combine x cubes with x squareds. Um, we cannot do that with just.